everyone. Welcome to Let's Find Out, the show that gives you all you need to know about the ins and outs of the automotive world, brought to you by VHICS. I'm Rose Diaz. In this episode, we'll take a close look at perhaps the most important safety feature of any vehicle, the brakes. From what they do to how to use them safely and how to maintain them, we're going to explore all aspects of brakes. We're pulling out all the stops. It's time to find out. Brakes have been around as long as cars, at least the ones that work. As important to the vehicle as the steering wheel, brakes can and likely will be the last defense you have against a crash. Since we all know that brakes are crucial to safe and efficient driving, we're going to have a chat with Tom Collins, one of our favorite automotive experts. He's going to be walking us through the world of braking, from mechanics to the maneuvers. So Tom, humor me here. Okay. Tell me how brakes work. Well, there's a pedal inside the car that you press down. <laughs> of course. We all know that. What happens when you press that pedal down, Rose, is it sends hydraulic pressure to the various components on the wheels that activate the brakes. In this case, it would be the caliper and it squeezes these pads together against the rotor and that's what stops the car. Okay, so this is the rotor? Yes. Okay, so I've heard that there are two different braking systems, correct? There are. For years and years, Rose, drums were the uh, choice of uh, most automakers for all four wheels of vehicles. And in more recent years, we've seen uh, disc brakes come into play, okay. not only on the front, but on all four wheels of the vehicle. So is one more beneficial to, say, a car versus a truck? Yeah, we really see disc brakes taking over on all four wheels in the automotive applications now. But the only time you'll see drums used on modern day cars are on the lower priced economy cars or on trucks where they're actually used in the rear. Oh, okay. So tell me about ABS. How does that differ from maybe a traditional braking system? Well, on a traditional braking system, Rose, when you apply the brakes, it locks the wheel up. And if you want to have the ability to steer that car, you have to physically pump the brake pedal yourself. Okay. ABS does that for you. Okay, so we all know that brakes are really, really important. Yes. And we have to maintain them to make sure that they stay in tip-top shape. Is there a general rule of thumb? Rose, it really depends on your application, the type of vehicle you have, and how you drive it. If you do a lot of towing, you're going to eat up brakes a lot more than you will out on the road, for example. Keep an eye on those brake pads. Every time you get an oil change or have any service done in your car, you get it up in the air like this, have your technicians look at the thickness of these pads. That'll tell you how much brake life you have left. And how about the brake fluid? Brake fluid is something that often goes uh, really ignored by the public and it really should be changed every three to five years. Oh, okay. Check your owner's manual on that because some manufacturers differ. So what if I find myself in a sticky situation and I might actually get into some kind of collision? How can I use my brakes? With an ABS car, keep steady pressure on that brake pedal and steer as best you can to avoid the accident or the ditch. So steady pressure. Steady That's pressure. The key. That's it. Well, thanks, Tom, for all that great information. Rosa, it was my pleasure. Well, that about wraps it up. Make sure you check out VHICS for more information on the nitty-gritty of auto safety and other topics. And thank you to Colorado Car Clinic for having us out. Until next time, thanks for stopping by. I'm Rose Diaz. We'll see you again on Let's Find Out.